Today's recipe is possibly one of my most favorite dals on the planet and that is dal bukhara. Well, dal bukhara has a very unique story which is associated of course with hotels and it was actually made in the late 70s in a restaurant called bukhara and over so many years can you imagine this recipe has stayed a constant you know you have world dignitaries who come down and savor this dal and the taste has not changed even a bit hey guys this is the bombay chef varna namdar and welcome to rakshi food today's recipe is dal bukhara let's see how it's made once the dal is wonderfully boiled we'll just drain off the excess water because that is not required at this stage carefully skim only the water from the top it is very 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 important to soak it overnight because the dal has to open up the color has to change you know from the black dal you'll see that the color from the skin actually gets diluted in the water and the dal becomes this military green in color nice deep and intense so once that happens you take it and you have to boil it you have to cook it first you drain the water off you take fresh water no need to add in salt you have to take it in a pressure pan or a pressure cooker because we're doing it in the home kitchens and then you cook it what i do is i keep it on a absolute low flame with the whistle on of course for at least 30 to 40 minutes because i want the dal to be absolutely nice and pasty i want the dal to actually rupture because the natural starch from the dal from the lentil has to come out and that's the when the dal will actually get thick intense and naturally creamy the next step is to heat a deep vessel on high flame and add in butter to this i'm immediately going to add in paste of ginger and garlic and cook it for 30 to 40 seconds or till the raw flavor kind of goes off without letting the color change i'm going to add in red chili powder and stir it well to this i'm going to add in fresh tomato puree and stir this for at least a minute or so or till the oil or butter rather starts releasing from the sides well this is also a sign that the tomatoes are well cooked let's add in salt remember the fact that salt is not been added in the dal while cooking so this is the stage where you add in salt stir this well and allow this to cook on high flame for at least 3 to 4 minutes the butter is releasing from the sides time to add in the cooked dal stir this well and allow this to cook on medium flame till it's nice and perfectly cooked while stirring this also ensure that you kind of break the dal at the sides of the pan with the back of the spoon and that will ensure that the dal becomes nice and absolutely smooth and makkhan like We need to leave this dal on low simmer and if you see it is kind of reduced it started from here and it's gone down at least half an inch that's what we're looking at and if you see it is beautifully pulped because i've been also mashing this on the sides of the pan once you achieve this kind of a consistency and once the flavor of tomato is kind of cooked and done we'll add in fresh cream now this is absolutely imperative because that's where you get this wonderful and beautiful flavor creaminess and an absolute creamy profile 
stir this well the dal will also kind of lighten in color and that's exactly what you're looking at with this your dal bukhara is done and ready and this goes amazingly well with roti naan or steamed rice With this, your dal bukhara is done and ready. And if you've noticed by now, I've not added kasuri methi because in a classic quintessential dal bukhara, the kasuri methi is not added. You can add it in a makhni, you can add it in a maki dal, you can add it in a thabe wali dal. But a dal bukhara is made with just these few ingredients and that's the beauty and magic of it. And for more such recipes, stay tuned.